Hello and welcome to the third episode of our Let's Roleplay Crusader Kings 2 as the Sardid Emirate. Uh, we are currently playing as Amir Sard of the Sardid. He is well, the Emir of Zaragoza, Barcelona and Aragon. Zaragoza is of course just a titular title. Well, we hold two Dejur Dukes, Barcelona in its entirety and almost all of Aragon. Uh, we briefly held the entirety of both of these Dukies, but this dude was just promoted to the Emir of Gascony after the, our Umayyad Sultanate took, well, the Kingdom of Asturias. So, this episode I'm kind of thinking taking back Alto Aragon would be number one priority. Then number two, probably taking the war to the, well, infidels I suppose is the word, in Asturias. And just for the record, well, should also check for myself. Amir Saad, charismatic negotiator, he's arbitrary, he's envious, and he's greedy. So he seems to me like the kind of person who would want to take Alto Aragon back. And I'm pretty sure we just have revoked the Sheikh to from Puris. No, oh, that's our thing. So let's keep going with that. Nobody wants to join us though. Well, that's okay. No one plots. Killing people, I don't know who those people are. Could observe Ramadan, it didn't go well for our father. Okay. Go on Hajj to Mecca. Doesn't really seem like something we'd do. And instead, yeah, let's just declare war on this guy. Oh. I've had my eye on a feisty young scullery maid with huge intellect for some time now. Though she skillfully dodges the attentions of every boy and greybeard at court, I have her blushing furiously whenever I gaze into her eyes. Seduced and wrapped around my finger, this sharp lass could be very useful as my mistress, or she could be an excellent spy, or a common wench I can do better. Uh, I should also point out that seduction is our focus. Envious and greedy. Hmm. An intrigue that would be useful. Or get another courtier who would be our lover. Hmm. I think he'd make her a lady, just arbitrary, envious, greedy. I think the arbitrary nature would kind of promote promoting people to lovers, even though they are scullery maids, or promoting them into the nobility. Oh, and she's attractive and quick, so that was actually a really good choice. She's a good person to have around. And she would actually make a very excellent spy master, so long as I don't betray her. Although the Sheikh of Tertrusa is probably not someone I want to piss off. Although he already does dislikes me. Anyway, we would declare war on this dude. Claim on Alto Aragon. Or de jure claim makes no real difference. Hmm. Let's do the de jure claim. And call out our forces, who are actually really weak and much weaker than I thought they would be. So that's really unfortunate. Actually, we're only slightly stronger than the guy we're fighting. Which is okay, anyway. This morning I woke up with a painful itch. It seems I've contracted the lover's pox. So that's hopefully not syphilis. Unsightly blisters. I don't know. I actually don't know what syphilis does. Other than it drives you insane eventually. But whatever. Oh, second Umayyad holy war for Marrakesh. Well, that's in Africa, so we don't really have to concern ourselves with that. Okay, the question here is, do we attack the 750 men in the mountains? Which kind of seems stupid, especially in severe winter, which... It, wait, a climate severe winter. Or I could try and just occupy some of his land up in France here. Or Aquitaine, I should say, proper, properly. 
I think this is the wiser course. I would lose... I could well lose the battle, but I'd lose a lot of men anyway, attacking Alto Aragon. Whereas besieging this fortress I should do a decent job of. Actually, what of these lands does it hold? No, none of them. And actually these all look like they're held by Okatan. People of Basque. Okatan. More Okatan. Seems like I probably hate him anyway. The Orthodox faith is triumphant. I thought the Iconoclast just triumphed not too long ago. My wife, El Juara, is pregnant. Well, that's good. One of the young and lustful wives I got. Oh, my wife, Susan, is also pregnant. One of the attractive wives I got, and young. <laughs> and my wife, Estefania, is pregnant. Uh, lustful and kind of old wife I got. And any moment now, I bet you my lover will become pregnant. We Muslims believe in gods, and that which has bestowed from, well, blah blah blah, and in that which has been bestowed from on high upon us and upon Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the descendants, and that which has been vouchsafed to Moses and Jesus and all the prophets by their sustainer, we make no distinction between any of them, and it is unto him that we surrender ourselves. We must not condemn the Jews and Christians for their errors. So. Sympathy for Judaism and sympathy for Christendom. Okay. So this makes me a quite tolerant people. I have a son called Farouk. That's good. Oh, my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. Little Farouk is my spitting image. Acknowledge him as mine or denounce the child. Um, I kind of don't want to push Zapa off just because she's such a great spy master. She could very well kill me. I mean, not that she is the spy master, but whatever. And oh, let's just go off to play Alto Aragon. There's been a massive revolt in Gascony, so he's had to send his army off to fight the rebels. We actually outnumber him. It looks like basically, well, all of his vessels, bar one, went and um, revolted against him. Musa Ibn Hassan, my brother, is now of legal age. Okay. Um. I kind of think I would be the person to marry him to an ugly woman. I mean, an ugly princess of the Arabian Empire, that would actually be a good alliance for me, and because I'm envious, I don't think I'd actually give my husband a very attractive wife, or at least not one that I'd want to you know, bed myself, so yeah you can get betrothed to that woman and we need a new imam but we don't have any options, so we'll leave that for now actually, maybe I should give my brother something huh, he's not causing decadence so the magnificent Amir Saad, peace be with you, I've decided to accept your suggestion of a, of a betrothal oh, I can't talk today Won the Battle of Jakar, uh, where we defeated 78 Gascon troops. We have another son, Hussein. And a daughter, Paywans. I assume that's how you say it. But probably not. Another son, Zaid. What's my ambition? I have no idea. Amass wealth. Okay, let's get on to that. Well, I suppose we are. 133, gaining a little bit. Oh, Amir Saad the Unready. That's great. But we're about to win this battle. Well, at least capture the holding. Do I have any prisoners? Nope. Okay. Okay. 
So my Sultan's doing a lot there. I think he's doing a Sultan of Aquitaine as well. Oh! Something just happened. Because we changed colour. Oh! The Empire of Hispania. Which means I can now become a Sultan and not have to overthrow my Lord. Which would be quite useful. But not yet. One title can be created, the Kingdom of Aragon. Okay, yes, yet. 200 piety and 388 gold. Um, well, the piety is going to be hard to get. Or I suppose not so much once we um, finish this war. Oh, Betrothed can marry. Yep, go for that. Siege of Barbarasto and the Holy War for Asturias over here. And Asturias is that bit there. Okay, after this war is done, we might have to declare a Holy War for Navarre or Castile just to try and grab some of this before our new empire takes it all. As I listened to the Hafiz correctly continue the recitation of a passage taken randomly from the Quran, I marvel at the piety of the man. To submit the whole Qur'an to memory, all 114 surahs is a feat only the most zealous Muslim could prefer. Hmm. Marvellous, but it must be such a chore. Slothful. Or oh, may Allah hear my words, I'll memorize the whole Qur'an. Huh. We are envious. So we would definitely envy the person for that. Tolerant of religions, which... Well, it kind of suggests we have some interest in theology. Charismatic negotiator, don't really think any of these really. Yeah, let's try it. Memorizing the whole Quran. Plus, it gives us a boost to piety, which is useful. Especially if we want to be the Sultan of Aragon. And what would be our du jour thing? So, we gain a bit of land down here. Oh, don't need to have the game paused. Oh, I need a new steward. Um, nobody here wants to be a steward, so you'll have to do. And still an option for quarter man. Uh, my wife is pregnant. And her girl is my wealthiest province. Why is that? Well, just the attacks, and it's got level 2 town. Zaragusta also got the just the attacks, and only level 1 town. And this is my capital, Abrasen. Oh, it's my second wealthiest. No tax though, because it's Muslim. Well, no 25% bonus to tax because it's Muslim. But most of my lands are still Christian. Okay, well, we've just won this war. Important decisions. Ask for help with managing our titles. No. We probably should, but we are greedy. Um, stop bothering me about this nonsense. Hajj to Mecca. Well, we are interested in religion now, so let's do it. All are equal in front of God. I am now fully prepared for my travel to Mecca. While I am away, there will be a regent ruling the Sardid Emirate. Who is it? Oh, this dude. The Sheikh Suleiman of Tatusha. My spy master. He, uh, apparently he likes me now. Well, that's good. As you travel over the seas, your ship spots the sails of a well-known Christian pilot. We have a faster ship, and the chance to eliminate this threat to pilgrims forever. We must stop these infidels, or it's too great of a risk. Um, we have tolerance. 
or sympathy for Christendom. Envious, we are greedy, we are arbitrary. Um, well, I think we must stop them. I've gained the wounded trait. I have been injured badly. Should heal in time, though. Another son, named Nasa. The camel one of your companions is riding on collapses on the sand with a grunt, never to rise again. You could take turns with your companions to ride on your camel, but that would slow you down, and the unforgiving son would have to be endured a while longer. Um, I'm greedy. Terrible luck, friends. See you in Mecca. As you stop for camp one evening, you notice an old man in poor clothing has made camp at the same place. The man offers to tell you a hadith he has if you can spare him some bread. Um. Yeah, we'll listen to him. The old man quotes the messenger of Allah. May Allah bless him and grant him peace from Sunan Abu Dawood. The most evil traits of man are severe stinginess and uninhibited cowardice. Gain one marshal. Excellent. As you arrive in Mecca, you change from your travelling clothes and dressed in the white Iram clothing. This cloth is intended to make everyone appear the same, as in the eyes of Allah there is no difference between a mere and a pauper. I am humbled. You are now at the Kaaba itself and performing the Tawaf. Seven circuits you will walk around the black stone and each time you complete a circuit you point to the stone and say, In the name of Allah, Allah is great, Allah is great, Allah is great, and praise be to Allah. Shut it every circuit, or only shut the first three times. Hmm. I really don't see anything that would help decide either of these. So, let's sh only shut the first three times. Performing the Sa'i involves running seven times between the hills of Safa and Mawa. This is done to remember the search for water by Ishmael's mother. I feel invigorated, gain one health. Well, that's good because my disease loses a bit of health. As you ride through the desert on your way home, you pass the grim remains of another pilgrim caravan. Their bones have been picked clean by scavengers and it serves as a sobering reminder of the dangers associated with the Hajj. You consider yourself lucky to have made it as far as you have. We will be home soon, inshallah. I don't feel too well, something is wrong with me. I am burning up with fever, my nose is running, and my head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. Please kill me. So I am both wounded and ill. But my half-sister is now of legal age. She's an intricate web weaver. She's a very good spy master. Um, I should probably keep her around. Just because that's actually really good to be training people, but... High Chief of Marrakesh. Oh, I could marry her to the heir of the Umayyad Empire. That's it's probably worth it, actually. Just having my future liege being my brother-in-law. Oh. Oh, cool. Shake my true from trees, likes me a bit better. My fever's gone, that's excellent because I really don't want to die. You got surrounded by bandits and I was sure that I would soon going to be robbed and left for dead when some fellow pilgrims arrived to save us. So, Wali well, Abdul Wahab is our ally in the Abbasid Empire. Oh, he's not an ally, he's our friend, but it's a long way away. I've returned to my court a changed man. I am truly humble before Allah, and I know that all men are equal and can live in harmony with each other. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Excellent. Regency over. Grand Vizier Wali Nasir is doing a superb job. I am having trouble with the town and the castle in Awarasan, and I shall of course send my Grand Vizier Wali Nasir to try and increase the relation between them. But which one should I start with, the town or the castle? Well, let's give the castle, because I think I want my counts to like me more than anybody else. Oh, hey, and I've got a backer here, Tatusha. It's backing me to revoke the Sheikh Timur from Puris. Which I don't think I actually really want to do. I mean, except that I'm greedy, so of course I do. Uh, my brother has a daughter. And, well, my wound's healed, but I'm now scarred. That's okay, I've got a scar fighting pirates. It gives me a bit more prestige.
Okay. So with my newfound piety, should I declare war on those guys? I only have 800 soldiers. It should be enough to defeat them since they've been weakened by this war. But I probably couldn't actually declare war on them since... I don't know. I'm off Navarro. I feel nervous as I stand before the Imam, waiting for him to choose and start reciting a random passage from the Quran, which I must then continue reciting quickly. He has chosen. When the Quran is read, listen to it with attention and hold your peace that you may receive mercy. Cool. I've become a Hafiz. Or Hafiz, I don't know how you say it. Which gets me. What's the opinion? Let's declare war on this guy, and we'll take Navarra or Castile. Let's just take Navarra for now, it's the closest. Badshah Abd al-Rahman's choice for the chief Kali position is disastrous. The man's judgment is severely distorted, and there will be no justice as long as he holds the post. Even his courtier would be better as chief Kali. Uh, okay. Pick a random person. I know a vessel of Bajal Abdul Rahman will be better. Or quench my anger and do nothing. Let's do nothing. We are, of course, a diplomat. We can call ourselves our allies to this war. So let's do it. I think till the these ready. Form up in the bar. 910 soldiers. Ah, uh, not coming to help me. Cool, but Marrakesh is. And Chief of Tamdult is as well. So there'll be a few more soldiers heading our way soon, hopefully. 501 down there. 81 there. Which is better than nothing. But will be if they actually arrive and help. The infidel, dimness, and outer Aragon are now a minority, and almost, and most people have embraced Sunni Islam. That's good. Seriously, I really should get. Oh, I've got an imam I can choose now. Good. And you can go to Saragusta and try and convert them. Someone likes to become the Emir, Sheikh of Rizzo. Imprison him, 38% chance. I will leave it for now. Wait until this war is finished and then I'll arrest him. King Sigurd of Essex is fighting against me. Seems that my interest in Christendom has come to the attention of one of its practitioners within the realm. We met and have had the most fruitful discussions about theology and other matters. That's the heir to the Sheikdom of Rosello. Ah. That dude I'm about to arrest, son. And there's a bunch of camels riding off to war. Oh, my allies are down besieging Burgos. Have risen up somewhere else. Got more soldiers, that's good. Three and a half thousand Catholics in Lisbon. How are we doing on the peninsula? Big chunk of Sunni Islam in the middle, but still mostly Catholic. And another half sister, who is an elusive shadow but a very good diplomat. Um, who's this guy? Chief of Taradont, he's already my ally. Marry her to the Sultan of Africa, so let's do that one. It'd be very useful if I ever have to revolt against my. Is he a Sultan or is he Caliph now? I don't even know his rank. Badger. Okay. Don't have to revolt against my Badger. Well, 
with the Siege of Loon. And my allies have just defeated an Asturian army. Oh, we've been appointed something. We've been appointed Spymaster. That could prove very useful. At 14, I suppose I am a decent Spymaster. Lots of marriage ties for me. And lots of children. When the Siege of Victoria. Zinchulo du Vasconia. Who is that? The leader of the Ormade Revolt. Honour my obligation and side with you. I do not want to side with you. You are a Christian declaring war against me. Um, so I'm going to decline that, especially since you've got no hope of winning this war. I mean, unless you get a few thousand more soldiers show up. Uh, Mia Olbia has offered to go through my newly acquired things. Stop bothering me about this nonsense. Looks like my allies just lost the battle against Asturias there. But it's okay, it's not. Their army's not large enough to actually challenge me. I'll just capture this Bishofric. And then we can march on this army. I guess we'll march on Burgos instead. Outnumbered them basically 2 to 1. More than 2 to 1, actually. They've got pretty good generals, so we should be able to crush them here. Yep. work on capturing these fortresses rather than chasing their last hundred odd soldiers. A new caliph? I don't think that means much to me. The caliph's on basically the other side of the world. Well, not really. They're right in the middle. They're on far to the east, or west, I should say. We're collecting money from all these sieges, so that's good. Do we gain piety? Or fighting? No, we don't. A child likes... No, oh, my son. Um... Yeah, whatever. I don't really care that much who educates my sons. I probably should, but... Honestly, I don't think this is the guy that really would. Seems quite interesting, Christendom, blah blah blah, I've made a new friend, the steward of Rosello. I won the Siege of Silas, and hopefully when I capture this last barony I'll win, but I might win quicker if I go fight those empty soldiers. Ah, Saragusta has converted. So let's send out a man to... Kalatayud, that should convert pretty quickly. And Dinia, it's not in my lands. Oh, are those the Essex? Yep, 600 Essex soldiers just showed up. Which, well, we're still going to win the war very quickly. A bastard can cause a lot of trouble and just did Spy Master Sheikh Suleiman and advise me of a possible opportunity to get rid of the bastard in the court. Uh, doubt you'll cause any trouble or go ahead and see if your plan works. Nothing about this strikes me as being particularly murderous. So let's just go, I doubt he causes any trouble. And now we are honest. We've just won the war, so we'll offer peace. Now we took Navarra. And we may as well give away some of these. Um, you know, I want my court. People who actually like me. And I'm pretty sure it would have to be a man. Where are the adult men that like me? Um, you, apparently. You can be a mere. 
and I suppose that makes my brother into well and the mum leading the mosque. I'm not sure if that's actually happening, but whatever. He can rule it. And we'll keep the castle for ourselves. Oh well, my wife's pregnant. It's kind of odd that we are kind of focused on seduction, but at the same time, well, we're religious, but we're also tolerant, so it's more we've got a theological bent. But with no learning, I'm assuming we're not actually that great at it. Oh, apparently I've got up to a thousand soldiers. That's pretty good, actually. Although I don't know where they're coming from. Still can't quite get a retinue yet. Um, increased technology at all. Light infantry, I might as well. Any prisoners? Three of them. Uh, let's see if I can't ransom a few. going to war with? Hisham of the Umayyad Revolt wants us to side with him. Um, I'm going to say no again. Nobody here is close to coming to our side? Nope, not even my brother. Okay. Oh, I probably should send my soldiers back home. No need for that, especially since it's annoying my vassals. I think we could actually declare ourselves king now. I had two men pleading for my mercy in my court today. Both of them had committed the same crime, stolen an object of minor value. One a bread and the other some rice. The bread stealer was beheaded, the rice thief absolved. This is my court, I may be as arbitrary as I wish. Fakir is pondering it. The men whose similar crimes are judged arbitrarily gave Fakir something to ponder. I had all but forgotten about it when Fakir finally got the courage to discuss it with me. She thinks I'm a bad person. She is, well she used to be the husband of one of my shape, but I'm guessing she's nobody now then, so that's so fine. Uh, I've had a daughter called Yasmin. And my bastard son needs a guardian. And my half-sister, this person, who is a loose of shadow. Actually that seems very dangerous to send the bastard to learn how to be an excellent spy, but whatever. Who would you like to marry? Um, the Prince of the Arabian Empire. The Emir of Portugal is probably a good choice, actually. I wonder if my son will go with her. Start of the Viking Age. The centralization of power in Scandinavia, along with a rapid population expansion, has begun to drive its denizens to look beyond the home shores in earnest. New developments in shipbuilding, an adventurous spirit, and fearless belief in the gods are now taking Norse seafarers across the seas towards distant lands. They arrive as traders, raiders, and conquerors, and they call themselves Vikings. The Norse provinces receive shipyards and increase shipbuilding technology. Cool. Well, not really, because we'll probably have to fight them. Especially since we now held, well, Viscaya, which is quite close to Scandinavia by sea. That's right, I can risk this shake. Um, I don't really see any reason not to. I mean, the guy hates me. Uh, what's happened? Oh, I'll say arrest, yes. Oh, he worked. Cool. And the people of Leon has embraced Sunni Islam. That's good. Uh, this is what I want. Ransom them for the money? Yes, please. 
So I'm getting close to my ambition of 500 gold. Should I increase centralization? Yeah, might as well. Cost 50 piety, that's okay. Um, oh, oh no, I think I made it through this cure disease. I didn't even know I had smallpox. I assumed it was a love, lover's pox, but nope, I'm cured of smallpox. That's good, because it's quite deadly. Uh, because I'm humble, I don't think I'm going to actually become king. Possibly my son, though. Chief Kadi Amir Samir lectured me on the sin of committing zina. I don't know what that is. All I could think of was my clear love waiting for me in our own little hideout. I'm guessing it's lustfulness. You have n no witnesses, only rumours, and they are false. That's kind of not true because I've legitimised my bastard son. I don't deny it and I refuse to do anything about it. Um, I am greedy and I am honest. So I think we'll do this one. Committing sin is a crime according to the Quran and the Prophet, may peace be upon him. And the punishment is stoning or a hundred lashes. Regardless of what I told Chief Qadi Amir Samir, I still felt afraid as he pondered my case. But he decided to spare me the punishment. That was very good of him, I suppose. Hmm, apparently I can revoke the Sheikdom of Impuries now. Which I might as well do. Um, right, I wore it is. Let's just... No. Well, those are a lot of soldiers. Way more soldiers than I have. This is not going to go well. Um, let's just meet up in Marshall, and I might have to spend my money on hiring some mercenaries here. And yeah, that's going to be a lot of my money gone. Oh, who's this? Amir of Navarre has declared war on us. Okay, let's conquer that guy first. Um, if I surrender to this guy, what do I lose? 200 prestige. That's not too bad, actually. The white piece, he won't accept it. But. Hmm. He's humble, he's honest, so we'd recognise that we probably can't afford to fight both these wars at once. Envious and greedy, though, but we're not losing any money. So, uh, and we're a diplomat. So I think we're actually going to surrender this war. Recognising that it doesn't lose us much. Means that guy's back being our vessel and doesn't even hate us. That's interesting, but I suppose it's alright. This guy wants to. Ah, oh, yep. The marriage. Okay. Oh, it looks like another Emirates come in war against me. But I will call my allies, even though they probably won't and help us, but we'll see. Because what's the point in having allies if you don't even bother calling them to a war? Cool, some people are coming to join us, but lots of people are saying no. Navarro itself has actually very few soldiers here. But I also don't have enough to... I've just got, barely got enough to, to try and capture this fortress. The allies are fighting down in the south here, and it looks like they might be able to win that one. Or well, a thousand allies there, that would be good if they can... 1400. If they can start heading north, that would be very good for us. I 
kind of rely on an event popping up to reduce the number of defenders in Pamplona here. So that hopefully we could take it. Before these 958 soldiers arrive. No, I think realistically we're just going to have to hire mercenaries. But we can probably afford to hire some of these cheap ones. Well, maybe not them. There's only really one choice, the Scottish band here. Which... It's only a little bit cheaper. But 2,000 soldiers would be more than enough. So we'll hire them. And they should give us the numbers to like secure the victory in this war. Without having to rely too much on our allies. Am I losing piety if they've attacked me? No, I'm not. That's good. And my allies have come. We've now got a pretty huge numerical advantage. We'll just capture this fortress. And then try and defeat the army of Vizcaya. It's a lot of money to go away though. It's been a mercenary I probably didn't actually have to. My allies probably would have given me enough numbers eventually to be able to win here. Well, maybe not. If those guys were to come over to Navarro, I think we'd outnumber the enemy of Vizcaya, but not for a very much. Okay, so they have just captured Ulrun. That's okay, because we're about to capture Pamplona. And they will march on Ulrun and defeat their army. At least I hope we will. There we go, captured a bit of gold as well. Get a new quartermarm? No, I can't. Oh, I can educate some children though. Another daughter. Um, I'll also acknowledge her as mine, I am honest. Just conquer this fort. Only 40 soldiers guarding it. And then try and catch at least some of their armies here. There's a few of their soldiers. And we'll head back to the sky, try and set these people. March on this army. Hopefully, we can catch it here. There we go. And hopefully, this will be a big enough victory to win the war for us. Uh, one of our beloved wives comes to position her first wife. Uh, Susan could be my first wife. Or she can remain my first wife. Let's try and defeat the army of the sky. Okay, now that I've um, got a pretty big numerical superiority. I'll send my mercenaries to assault some fortresses. More main army will just besiege more things in here. And I really don't quite, kind of don't care if my mercenaries die. So I'll get them to assault some things. The larger army will try and maintain their strength. Well, especially since I'm about to run out of money in three months. Oh, there seems to be a plot in Granada. Hopefully I can uncover it in time. Good. Well, it looks like my mercenary is about to lose that battle. Or at least lose the assault on that fortress. That's okay. Let's improve my financial situation a little bit. I want another siege. Child needs a guardian, one of my sons. Should be educated by my lover. And my wife is pregnant, or one of my wives is pregnant. And we've managed to win the war. Okay, well let's send everybody home. Didn't get any money from that, which I was going to hope to since I spent so much on that war. It's hard being a good sonny these days. My friends truly shocked me when I realised we did not share the same religion. My dear friend is a heretic. I know that, that's why he is my friend. 
Uh, to be a good friend, I should probably learn more about his religion. That does seem like something we would say. So we'll do that one. And I think that's probably it for this episode. We'll see what this. Oh no, we've upset the people with our taxes. Whatever. So, this episode. Well, we gained Alto Aragon. And we gained Viscaya in the Holy War. And of course we managed to defeat, or defend Viscaya. But in doing so, we had to leave this guy in power. Who, as you see, doesn't actually like me very much. So, I suppose we're expanding. We also became the spy master of our empire now, it is. Which puts us in a very powerful position should we ever want to join a faction or start doing any plots. But we haven't yet exploited that. Also, the Viking Age starts, and you can see there are already 700 odd Vikings rah, pillaging in our little empire here. When I say little, it's quite a big empire. And did your empires? I'm sure there's a map mode to show empires. Oh, let's we'll see. It's whatever. So, yeah. Things going well for the Ulmaids. Going pretty well for us as well, I might say. Although, I'm a bit surprised that we've actually got such weak armies. Or well, we're not a very good lead, uh, military man, would be why. Our son's a really good diplomat, though. Honestly, gregarious. I obviously picked a good tutor for him, actually. Anyway, that'll be it for this time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time.